confident. Nothing but the real deal when I step in that ring. Committed. I grind hard every day. And motivated. I don't think it's going to go his way. Well, I don't think. I know. Ryan Ford's pledge ahead of his UBO light heavyweight title defense at the Raw of Singapore 2 is simple. Outwork his opponent outside the ring, destroy him when the bell rings. The 35-year-old Canadian is in the Lion City ahead of his May the 27th war against former WBC Asian champion Robert Barrich. And the man who calls himself the real deal can only see his triumph at the results World Santosa. Real deal, winner, you know. Um, it's hard to predict a fight, but uh, I know I'm going to go in there. I'm going to leave it all in there. And at the end of the night, my hand's going to be raised and that belt's going to be wrapped around my waist. Ford's been called the real deal for his relentless work ethic inside and outside of the squared circle. But ahead of his third fight in Singapore, the Canadian also wants to be known as the people's champ. A champion of Singapore to be precise, as proven by his surprise open workout at one of the landmarks in the Lion City recently. It was awesome. You know, I, I think at first a little bit people were a little scared to, you know, I had the gloves on, we started hitting pads. Um, but then after that, I had people coming up. We were, before I even got to start wrapping up my gloves, I had a bunch of people coming up to take pictures with the belt, sign autographs, and then, uh, you know, then we started hitting pads and a lot of people were attracted to it. They saw it, you know, I, I don't think that they were really used to it. Being here in Singapore, I love the people. They're very nice. I like, I like to be like the people's champ, you know, I like to go wherever it is in the world and you know create a fan base now here's a little fun fact ryan ford is actually the son of a famous boxer l ford little do we know that mma was his stage before he went on to rock the boxing world what made him change we find out i had an injury that kept occurring you know and um after the third time it was like hey i gotta go back to my roots you know, my dad was Canadian lightweight champ, ranked three in the world, boxing. Uh, I grew up around boxing. I thought, hey, let's do this, you know, and me, when I do something, I'm a hunter all the way in, you know, or else I'm not even going to give it a try. And in a year, I'm 11 and 0 and the UBO light heavyweight world champion. It's a real deal. With an 11 and 0 record, it is no doubt that Ford really is the real deal. His march into the boxing world comes on the same drumbeat as organizers Ringstar's assault on growing the local boxing scene. And it's been a match made to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. He's got exactly what every fighter you know, must have to be successful. You know, he's talented, he's fast, um, he's great with people, he's a great talker, but he doesn't just talk, he actually walks the walk, you know. Everything about him, what he says, is the real deal. Um, you know, Ringstar is about bringing top talent um, to boxing uh, and Singapore, and that's what the platform's all about. So Ryan, just quality people like Ryan, that just shows what we can actually bring to Singapore and just how great the show can be. You know what, they're, they're bringing boxing to another level in a country that, you know, has never had it. Ringstar starting from the bottom, you know, making it to the top, right? They're, they're branding themselves and going to be worldwide known. Um, you know, they're bringing in fighters from all different countries to come and compete. And um, I believe that, you know, they're, they're going to take it to that next level where Ringstar Boxing Promotions is known worldwide. From carrying a famous name to the octagon and then back to the ring where his roots were sown, Ryan, the real deal Ford's ascent to the top of the fight game has come a long way. But it's the lessons of hard work and dedication that is said to be learned from the battle-worn fighter and that might just be the factor that will see his hands raised when the Raw Singapore returns on the 27th of May.